got a little wet last night. See it when it gets her lips and they go Okay, come here. Chaka does not like loud noises or things that blow at her. Don't! No! Stop! You're mean. This is Leo, we're dog sitting him. Obviously he has no clue what's going on, but he thinks it's fun. Allison Morrow. Hi, I'm Allison Morrow. I'm Allison Morrow. And I've gone to a lot of places. On St. Pete Beach, Allison Morrow. And now with my former Force Recon Marine husband, I'm going off grid. Itch. going to do something exciting today. I should say Lynn is going to do something exciting today. We are welding. I don't know anything about welding and I wanted to surprise him. I went to Home Depot in search of the one that he told me he wanted, but he didn't tell me exactly what he wanted because I didn't want to ask him exactly because I didn't want to give away the secret that I was buying this for his birthday. So I went in with some random numbers like 230, 180, G stick. I had no idea. The Home Depot guy could not decipher what I was saying and could not find what we needed, even though this was definitely right there on the counter. One of the things that I'm actually going to work on, I made a gantry crane to be able to lift the Airstream superstructure off the frame so that I could then actually work on the frame. So my first little test project, pet project, if you will, that's going to allow me to do that is I have to put some wheels on the gantry. But uh, I couldn't, long story short, get the wheels that I want. You know, you can't always get you want, but you get what you need. So what Love I'm having- Love the one the you're with. <laughs> Love the one you're with. Oh God. What I'm basically going to be doing is making a bracket to attach these wheels to the bottom of the gantry crane with so that I can take them off uh, once we get the gantry crane in place and I can use them for the other one. So it's easier for us to position them, but then we can get them out of the way and, and have the gantry crane be as stable as possible. So I figured this would be a, a great small project to do to also kind of get my chops back. I had no idea how much he really, really wanted a welder and how cool guys think welders are. I mean, <laughs> really. Like, it's welders a, are really cool amongst like dudes like Lynn, apparently. It's like, if you want to impress your man, get him a welder. But this is the one he wanted. It's a Lincoln Electric 180 MIG welder. Take it away, Lynn. Well, this is not my first time welding. It, it's been, the last time I welded was back in 2004. Uh, and I actually had to learn how to weld while deployed so that I could put armor on our Humvees uh, while in Afghanistan. And so that's where I kind of trial by fire, no pun intended, uh, while in Afghanistan. And you know what, the, the armor, it held up. What you're looking at there is, uh, she's cute, isn't she folks? You have a 75% argon mixed with 25% carbon dioxide. It's not flammable, it's inert gases. Um, what it's meant to do is as you're welding, it's actually protecting the weld. It makes for a cleaner weld. That was the thing that drew my attention to this welder in particular was that it had the capability of welding both steel and aluminum. And because it's a higher temperature, uh, I can weld thicker steel. This was a good all around welder. You know, we have aspirations of, of what we want to do with our journey after we complete the, the Airstream. So I saw this as an investment even though it's been a long time since I've wielded a welder, full of puns today, I, I feel pretty confident that with this machine, they've made a lot of advancements over the years. I mean, welding is welding, but they've made a lot of advancements 
and it's become a much uh, easier uh, to attain skill for, for the novice. So you've seen a lot of people doing that. But I'm not a novice. I'm not even at novice level, so I'm not. I'm gonna be going inside when he starts because it turns out you can't look at it because it'll blind you. That's true. You uh, should have a, they have special helmets uh, for welding. Uh, what it does is it, it, that, that arc that's created, it's a super bright uh, blue light. It, it's, it's pretty much like staring into the sun. Like a solar eclipse. Yeah, it's not. Don't look at it. Yeah, it's not good to look at it. Or I believe the appropriate term is welder's uh, blindness. Uh, it sounds like it's pretty nasty. I've never had it. I hope I never get it. Lynn has enough problems. I, I do. I do have enough problems. So <laughs> We'd like to keep his uh, eyesight. Of all things, we'd just like to keep your eyesight. <laughs> right. Well, there are a couple uh, other things, but... So, there, and there's a couple different types of welding helmets that you get. They have uh, varying different levels. This one is, is not the high end, but it, it's a little higher end. I'm almost scared of, like, looking out the window and accidentally <laughs> seeing this. It's not that bad. As I'm long as you out. don't look directly at it, you'll be fine. You can be standing right next to it. You just ah, look my out. eyes! <laughs> Why a spoon, cousin? <laughs> because you twit, it'll hurt more. He's quoted that before in another one of our videos. I still don't know what it's from. It's Robin Hood. Robin Hood. Well, Prince now I know. Thieves. Try to remember it next time. I love that movie. It's like one of my favorite movies. No, no you're one thinking of, <laughs> of Men in Tights. Yeah, Men in Tights is my favorite Robin Hood for sure. Love Mel Brooks. Anyway, back to the welder. Uh, why did we decide we wanted to weld ourselves instead of hiring somebody? Well, it turns out that actually like welders, they don't make like a killing or anything. We looked up the average going rate for a welder in Washington was about 25 bucks an hour, 24 and some change. I think that's pretty good. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, it's not a bad salary. It's, it's not like, it's not like you're a Wall Street trader or anything. It's barely enough to live in the Seattle area, but we're not going to complain about that right now. Clearly, we're moving out of the Seattle area, which is why we're renovating an Airstream. But anyway, that's for another day. So we wanted to try to do it ourselves because we want to save some money. We're trying to save money where we can. And there's an airplane flying over us right now. Even on the lowest end at $24 an hour, I don't have the money to pay somebody to do the welding that we need to do on this Airstream. I reckon some of the fabrication and other things that I want to do to it is going to take me at least a week to do. We calculated that with all of the supplies to weld, this was about 700 bucks and the rest, it was about $1,000. Now that does include Lynn's veteran military discount at Home Depot, so. <laughs> At least I got something for it. Yeah, we probably got like a hundred bucks off. Um, but that would add up to about a week's worth of an eight hour, five days a week. Eight hour day, five days a week. One week of a welder's salary in Washington would be what this equals. So if we use it for one week, you know, worth of time, then we've made back our money. So we figured it was a good investment. And we want to save the money for hiring people for things like electrical for instance because we think we're probably gonna get somebody to help me help us with that yeah, maybe with the solar joe about that He's okay an electrician so, so maybe we'll get that for free but anyway windows would definitely i'm windows worth paying somebody to do take yeah. care of that we just figure we're going to try to save as much money as we can on the front end because of course there's going to be unexpected costs and then there's stuff with the rebuild that maybe we'll say you know what we're busy we want to hire somebody to do this get it done faster and so hence voila <laughs> We are now Lincoln welder owners. You know, on a personal side, I feel like there, there's a lot of the um, degradation of the trades in in the U.S. I mean, when, when I grew, grew up, how I grew up, my grandfather was a depression era guy. You know, he very much believed in the trades. Uh, you look at other guys like Mike Rowe. Mike Rowe is a super cool guy, and he does a lot of work within the trades. There is nothing wrong with having a trade skill uh, and not that I'll have any aspirations going out and doing welding for money or whatever, but who knows, if I get good enough and somebody's like, hey, you know, wherever we happen to be living, I'll exchange some work, you know, barter some work on your car or something for you if you do some welding for me. I mean, those are all, that's, that's how communities back in the day used to help each other out. So without further ado, we're gonna cut this puppy open. We'll talk about some of the stuff and I'll do one of the things that most guys don't like to admit to doing, but anybody who gives a darn about something that they spend a lot of money on is read the instructions. This is a Lincoln 180 HD. 
it works on a, I believe it's a 50 amp system. Pretty well packaged. Wouldn't expect any less from Lincoln. Here you go, start yeah. reading that. It, look at that, it even comes with a DVD, Learn to Weld. We're gonna have to check that out. Oh, That's Lord. worth checking out. I really hope that it's a Mel Brooks movie just like Robin Hood Men and Tights. You think it is? And so this is the regulator for the argon CO2 that you're gonna hook into the welder. This guy right here is, is inner shield. Um, and what this is, this doesn't require gas. So I didn't have to buy gas for this. I could use regular inner shield uh, with this to do the welding I wanted to do, but this makes for a cleaner weld and it's allegedly easier to do MIG welding when you have the gas. So here is the torch. So what happens is this connects to the front of the welder and you have switch right here. And what it does is it starts the gas and it gets the wire pushing through the spool down this cable. Uh, the gas connects right here, and you also have your power running through this. What you're trying to do is you're trying to create a spark, an arc, that creates a lot of heat. And what that heat does is between the two materials that you are trying to join together, it heats them both up enough so that they start to begin to melt to each other. And then you introduce a medium uh, to join the two together and then as you move on it'll cool and, and dry because you're basically superheating the metal to a point where it becomes a liquid and then once it cools to where it, it dries then it, it, it is welded together and that's how welding works and this brings the current in through your piece so what you're doing is so that when you bring the torch in to the piece and you have this going there it completes the circuit creates the arc or the spark and it creates the heat and then you start welding. Pretty firm. It's welded. I went to go ride my horse while Lynn was doing those initial welds and he got me a present. What do you guys think? Does it make me look fat? No, looks like I was made for me, custom fit like a glove. I know. I'm very scared about welding because I've been told that you can blow your eyes out basically and I feel like if anybody could screw up wearing this helmet it would be me. Okay. It's like watching fireworks. Well I watched it and I still have my eyesight. I'm pretty proud of myself for um, keeping my eyes open for at least five seconds of it. I'll admit I did close my eyes for some of it because I just you know wanted to make sure my first time I'd take the helmet off and I could still see, and I can still see, and I may have a pattern of doing this because when I went skydiving, I also closed my eyes. So, sorry, I'm a wuss. I am definitely not the brave one in the family, but that's okay. Right, Lynn? Not everybody can be the hero. Honey, you're still a hero. Well, you have to put up with me. I'm a good looking coward anyway. All right. Good? Yep. Can I take my helmet off? Yep, you're done. Okay. Party, 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 party. Still have my eyesight. I still have my eyesight. Do you guys still have your eyesight? Everybody all right? I watched the whole time. That yeah. time. Yeah, what'd you think? It was like 4th of July. It feels like productivity is what it feels like to me. It feels like freedom. It feels like the sound of freedom, so it is like 4th of July. If Rosie the welder can do it, I can do it. Rosie. 
Hey, big shout out to all the welders out there because this is not an easy job. Actually, I'd be scared to death to do this. So thanks for all you do and thanks for watching our video. We hope you learned something and we hope you're now ready to weld or not weld because you've realized that you just don't want to do this yourself and you'd rather hire a professional. Again, I'm Allison. This is my husband slash Cabana boy. <laughs> Ow. See you next time. Bye. I don't even know what's going on here. Jeez Louise. What are you doing? Ta-da!